In this tutorial, we will show you how to perform PCB routing in Allegro. The actual routing begins after finishing the component placement. Firstly, we will execute the differential routing. Select Routing and go to Options. Choose Top and then select the traces. Now drag the trace from one pair of pads to another. Once you complete the routing, right-click and hit Done. If you want to make some changes to the routed traces, select the Routing option and reroute the traces as per your requirement. Next, we will route this trace. Click on Route and select the trace. Let's change the width to 10 mils. Drag the trace and complete the routing. After this, we will choose another trace named J2A. This trace is polygon shaped. We need to use copper pouring here. Go to Shape and select Polygon. Choose Active Class and Subclass as Etch and Top. Click on Dynamic Copper in the Shape Fill section. Select the net J2A here in the Assign Net Name segment and click OK. Start selecting from here. Once it is selected, press right click and hit Done. Next, we need to add vias. Currently, this polygon is not connected with the power plane and the planes in the other layers. To add vias, select the via right-click on it, and choose Copy. Paste vias at the desired location. Right-click and hit Done. Select the vias and right-click on them. Choose Assign Net to Vias. Select the net, press right-click, and say Done. If you want to change the shape, select Shapes, and go to Edit Boundaries. Select the shape and modify it per your requirement. Right-click and press Done. Let's see how the vias are added in the ground plane. Go to Setup option and select Grid. Here we are setting the spacing as 25 mils for non-etch and all-etch layers. Hit OK. Select a via, copy it, and paste it at the required location. If you want to increase the gap between vias, you can simply do so by going to Setup and changing the grid setting. For instance, set the grid at 100 mils. After completing the modification, click OK. Later, move the vias. Vias can be moved by keeping a grid of 100 mils. This is how we can shift the vias as per our design requirements. This is how routing is performed in Allegro. Hope this video helps. If you are struggling with via impedance, then make sure to check out Sierra Circuit's Via Impedance Calculator. It considers the physical dimensions of a via to calculate its capacitance, inductance, and impedance. Log on to our website for more.